Hi everybody and welcome back to my TV show reactions. Today we are checking out Cobra Kai Season 3, Episode 3, Now You're Gonna Pay. Very excited for this episode. Last time on Cobra Kai Season 2, Season 3, Episode 2, Robbie got arrested. Miguel does not want to see Johnny. Allie, where is she? She could come in the show, I don't know, still waiting on her. Kreez runs the dojo. He's taken out all of the weaknesses, just all the kids with, with morals. <laughs> um, Tori's back at Cobra Kai. Um, we know more about Tori's home life, which I don't know if I talked about actually in my review of the last episode, so I might just talk about it now. I'm really glad that we got to see Tori's home life. That was like the one, one of my biggest complaints about season two was that I really love Tori. I just didn't know anything about her. There was like one or two lines of dialogue that she had with Miguel in season two that explained that her that they were very poor, that her mother gave scraps, right, to, from the restaurant. Um, but we didn't know much about her. She was kind of a mystery, which was kind of cool because she was a very mysterious person, but I wanted to know more. I didn't really connect with her emotionally because I knew nothing about her. So I'm very glad that we're starting to see Tori, not even backstory, just like her home life. That is one step forward into her character. So I'm super glad that she's getting some more screen time. Um, she was, yeah, again, she was my biggest complaint about season two, I'd say, because she was a, such a prominent character, yet we knew almost nothing about her. But maybe that was on purpose. Maybe maybe that was on purpose. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe they just forgot to write her in. Um, let's see. What else happened? Johnny and Daniel were friends. And then they became not friends, which was really rude. That was really, really rude. Miguel is probably paralyzed, which I hate. But also, I really like that the show has complications from what happened. It's not just like a... Uh, like sometimes in a Marvel movie, for instance, something will happen... And then it's totally fine. This is like, like real world consequences when something bad happens like that. And I really like that. So I kind of, I'm kind of hoping that Miguel stays paralyzed, even though if he does get better, I'm going to be so happy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like if he does get better, then he, then the real world consequences of the show go down and the stakes kind of go down because the outcome for him was fine after such a traumatic event. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Um, yeah. Is that kind of all that happened in the last episode? I'm trying to think. In Kreez, we had Kreez's backstory as well, which was super cool, super awesome. And um, yeah, I'm just very excited to get into this episode. But before we get into this episode, if you'd like to watch more of my reactions, you can check out my Patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the uh, movies that I watch on YouTube as well as... Un or as, well as early access reactions to my TV shows and movie reactions that come out one week early. There are also two Patreon exclusive movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. Thank you so much if you check it out and let's get back to the video. Yes, so without further ado, let's get into this episode, Cobra Kai season three, episode three, now you're gonna pay. Forgive me father, for I have sinned. This. Hey! I honestly did not think he'd make another appearance. Bullshit. What about that time in Reno with those soccer moms at the Hyatt? Oh my god, Johnny. Uh, yeah, Johnny's gonna be in a very bad place after that Miguel talk. Nice. Forgive me, father. For what? He's gonna punch him. Yes! <laughs> that was kinda so awesome. It must be death. I said that's our table, homie. I hate this guy already. I hope he gets beat up. Robbie, hi. I'm so glad I got you. Robbie. Oh my God! Just instantly. So why don't you get in that car and fly, Mama Cita? Get in. What a weird method, but if it works, it works. Please, with our latest numbers. The Russos. <laughs> No way. He's making an appearance too? That's so awesome. You alone can help them. So, I'm here to make you an offer. You want to buy a car. No, he's going to buy the dealership. All right, no, no, no. I want the whole shebang. Oh my god. What if he loses the dealership too? Then he can work on Miyagi-Do karate, so that's okay. <gasps> hey, 
No way. Surgery costs a ton and my mom's gonna be in debt. And there's no guarantee it'll work, but... Oh my god, it's probably cost like five million dollars. It's you. Maybe they can raise money for him. Have a karate, a karate tournament that will raise money for his surgery or his bum. You know, her mom's sick and... Everybody's got a sob story. It doesn't give you a right to be a bully. That's so true. Some people have more of a sob story than others, I'll be honest. But still, you shouldn't be a bully. So, it's okay. Oh, serpiente! Go away, Hawk. Oh my god. Pretty sure you've done enough, princess. Hawk. Like the spot. <laughs> Hawk's so nice to Miguel though, what the heck? It's he has two very drastic sides. Different sides. You gotta remember you don't do the right thing because it always works out. You do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Oh, what advice. I got chills. That was so good. The detention center will let you in if you're accompanied by a member of the clergy, so how about we meet there tomorrow? What a good friend. What a good friend. Way said that'd be his dream come true. Me groveling for his money. We'll figure something out. Karate tournament, I'm telling you. Karate tournament to raise funds for Miguel. One, I am not a bully. And two, there are plenty of people walking through that door every day. Sometimes you act like a bully though, Daniel. That's the thing. Sometimes you act like one. <laughs> you almost look like... And people always remember the bad things over the good things for some reason. Small two bedroom over on Outpost. Oh, good for you, man. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm trying to move right now. I'm still over at the 99 cent store. Aww. They're just friends. I love it. Out of our dealership. We'll never sell to you. <laughs> okay. Your loss. Harouche. Come on, let's go. Really? Tom Cole is actually horrible. Uh, a car wash fundraiser. There's always a car wash fundraiser in like a show with teenagers in it. Thank you. Horny guys, horny little men. They think they can get away with that? They won't. They're just trying to help him. It's not about that. Miyagi does closed, I'm pretty sure. Oh, looking good, Johnny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember how to get on the internet. Listen, I'll do whatever you need me to do. I'll show up early or work. Johnny, you, don't, you do not have extensive computer experience. I'm so sorry. It's just the assaulting the miners, but like, wasn't that the car stuff in the first season? Ah, oh, that wasn't his fault though. I just know that Miguel needs our help. We love you, Miguel. Thank you, Samantha. This car wash will be going on this evening. Until That's your girl. It is kind of funny that she said Miyagi just wants to help, and then. Miyagi Do is the reason that Miguel's in the hospital as well. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, that works out. Yes! I'm so I love the fight so. Oh, go Robbie! Oh, nice. This was just a warm-up. We ain't done with you yet. Oh the sound effects for the punches feel harder too, you know? You said it was wireless. Yeah. Wireless, as in, never mind. You got anything else in there? Dotty, I love his internet shenan shenanigans. They're so good. What am I supposed to do? I don't own anything valuable. Then I guess you better find someone who does. Daniel, are you gonna rob Daniel? Imagine if you rob Daniel. If we lose this dealership, what's to stop other manufacturers from pulling out? That's what Cole's banking on. See, I say we go visit. Oh my God. Cole is so good. What a good businessman, but also so rude. What the heck? Ever since I've been in love with cars. The movie? That's a, it's a pretty good movie. If we don't sell to Cole, we might end up with nothing. Or you could end up with everything. I don't know how they would though, but I don't know. I was just kind of speaking randomly. Mm. 
Open up a bonsai shop. That would be awesome. I want that. Think only today. I love this. I love this so much. You got it. Open eye. Oh. What a shot. What a cut. What a flashback. That was amazing. Lawrence. John. <gasps> Did you see the little smile? Did you see the little smile? He's happy. That's so nice. Oh, is he visiting his dad? Or his stepdad? Your son and your student talk about a role model. Mm -mm. Oh my god, can he just die? Honestly, if you punched him in the face, I think his whole face would shatter. That's how frail he is at this point. Knock it over. Oh, he's stealing the valuable stuff. He picked the wrong side. Hey, give it back. Hey. Ooh. It's for Miguel. The hawk sound effect. I love the hawk sound effect, but I hate hawk. I love hawk, but I hate hawk. Tough pill to swallow. <sighs> no matter how you wash it down. I think Daniel has a plan. I think Daniel has a plan and he's about to just, look how confident he looks. I signed an exclusive deal with Toyona. Yeah. Oh. One step ahead. Kick the fucking shit out of me. Are you serious? I have no words, to be honest with you. No! But yes. Ms. Diaz. Okay, good. They're gonna make... I was gonna say they're gonna make out. No, they're gonna make up. They're gonna make up. No! He didn't show up. He didn't show up. Johnny didn't show up to Robbie. Are you serious? He put Miguel in front of Robbie just then. I know it. Johnny! Whenever he tries to do something good, he slips up on something else. Mr. Arizo? Oh my god. What a play. Big moves. The music, I got chills. Oh my gosh. And that was my reaction to Cobra Kai Season 3, Episode 3. What was it called? Now You're Gonna Pay. Oh my gosh, what a good episode. I, I'm j I guess I just say that for every episode now. I kind of realized I say... Oh my gosh, what a good episode for every single episode. It's so good. This show is so good. It's so good. I don't know if I can say anything else. It's just so good. Um, this episode I felt like was definitely more about Daniel. It was more of a, a Daniel-centric episode um, about him kind of dealing with all these consequences and his life was still going downhill, but then at the end he made a power move. And this is the first time in three episodes, I feel like, where a character has done something that has uppered, upped him. I don't know how to explain it. Like, both Johnny and Daniel had a moment, more so Daniel, at the end of this episode, where they got up a little bit from their lows, from their from the rock bottom, you know what I mean? Just a little bit up. And it was so relieving. It was so relieving to see that. I loved it so much. I'm really upset that Johnny did not go visit Robbie. I, I know that the grandma, Miguel's grandma, said, go come pray with us. And you can you say no to that? You cannot say no to that. Like, if I'm going to be honest, if you're in that situation, how can you say no to like a grieving family asking them to pray with you? And it's someone that you really care about and you want them to like you again. Like, there's just no way he was going to say no to that. But in doing so, I think maybe not forever, but he's definitely right now closed the door on Robbie. And it breaks my heart because did you see how happy Robbie was when they said Johnny Lawrence, when the, when the officer said, when he asked who's visiting and the officer said Lawrence, John Lawrence. 
Oh, oh, like Robbie smiled. He had a little glimpse of a smile. He was happy. He was relieved maybe to see a familiar face to see his dad. And Johnny kind of crushed it, crushed his hopes, you know, and I don't think Robbie's going to forgive him for a while. He already, it already took him a long time to try and forgive him for what he had done before. And now Johnny's just let him down again. And I don't know, this could have big consequences on the relationship. I feel like it was a very small moment. I think it can, can have big consequences. Um, I also thought that Miguel was going to, or sorry, that everyone was going to put on a tournament to, or like a karate tournament to raise funds for Miguel. But I like that Johnny just stole his stepdad's stuff, which by the way, his stepdad is absolutely horrible what a horrible person um i'm so glad that johnny stole that silver thing although like how would you know how much that silver thing is worth unless it's like real silver i don't know but yeah exciting stuff exciting oh this was just a good episode and i'm glad that johnny i'm talking about johnny first and i'll get into channel i'm glad that johnny and miguel's mom had at least some semblance of friendliness towards each other i don't think they're ever gonna date again i don't think they will but i'm glad that she in some way maybe not fully yet i don't think fully yet but in some way forgave johnny and so i really liked that really small scene where she just said thank you um i don't know i just really like that okay moving on to daniel now oh, daniel was in a rut for quite a bit of this episode and then and then when he had that flashback when he was looking at the bonsai and then it fades his face over his his face right now and over his old child face in the karate kid and then mr miyagi's talking over the bonsai stuff i got so many chills that that scene was so well done and again i love the use of flashbacks in this show they do not overuse it for the nostalgia they use it at just the right time um and they use it just enough so we understand what's happening and we get enough nostalgia to go, yes, I love this, but we don't get enough nostalgia to go, oh, this show is just, this show is just a nostalgia ride, you know? I love the flashbacks in this episode. They were really, really good. Um, and uh, Daniel, when when I heard that Daniel's uh, dealership was going to go down, I was like, oh no, this is so bad. Daniel is literally about to lose everything besides his family, I guess, at this point. Like, Johnny has lost his family, too, at this point. But Daniel still has his family, but his dealership's going to go. His friendship with Johnny is already gone. Uh, Robbie, his friendship with Robbie Gunn. His relationship with Sam is not very good. Um, the only thing that's actually still strong is his relationship with Amanda, I feel like. So that is... Uh, yeah, the dealership going down for Daniel would have been heartbreaking for him. And then when he sees Tom Cole at the end, you could see something was different about him. Something had like changed after he looked at that bonsai tree and he was like, his back was straighter. He looked, he was like looking into Tom Cole's eyes. He looked confident and I knew that he had a plan. I just didn't know what it was. I thought it would have something to do with going to the Japanese dealership. Uh, I thought maybe he'd phone them or something. I did not expect him to have actually flown to Japan. That was so awesome. Maybe we're gonna have some cool, like Japanese scenes in the next ship in the next episode. That would be so awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I just I, the that moment for me was so relieving because the last three episodes, and well, the last two episodes and then this episode had been like relentlessly hitting me down as an audience member, hitting our, my favorite characters down, like down, 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 down. And finally, after three episodes, the very end of the third episode, it lifts me up a little bit. It gives me hope for once in this season. And I think they've just done a phenomenal job with the writing, structuring it like this, because this just that little moment in any other season would have been like, yeah, but this moment, it was like, yeah, but it also was like fulfilling in a way if you, if that makes any sense and yeah i thought i think the writing is great other than that miyagido is back in session although daniel is not doing has no part in it i'm glad miyagido is back honestly i really liked the miyagido scenes and i really love seeing the little mr miyagi's garden all the time i don't know it's just nice and peaceful and i really like it and then the miguel car wash stuff i cannot believe that hawk and his goonies took the money off of that little guy i keep forgetting his name and beat him up too like what the heck do they not 
I know that they think that that um, Miyagi Do is trying to do something, but they cannot see past this rivalry. And I know that is Kreese's fault. That is John Kreese's fault, a hundred percent. But still, it's just like. It makes me mad. It makes me so mad that they do that. Anyways, that is my review for Cobra Kai season three, season three, episode three. Now you're gonna pay. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to these beautiful, amazing people right here. It means a lot for you to be supporting me, supporting my channel, and uh, my puppy is over there. She might not be in frame, but she's asleep over there. She also says a big, big thank you. She just kind of shook her butt a little bit. That means thank you in my dog's language. <laughs> um anyways uh yeah and thank you so much for listening to my review if you made it this far i know i just talk and talk and talk and i don't make any sense sometimes but yeah thank you so much and i will see you next time for my next cobra kai reaction which is cobra kai season four season four i'm getting way too ahead of myself season three episode four the right path